Hi guys, Squirrel here. Welcome to another train simulator video. Just opening the doors here on the class 450. Uh, we're in Guildford. We're on a career mode scenario called Halfway Haslemere. Haslemere is apparently a turnaround point on this line. Uh, so we've got go via Haslemere approach, pick up passage from Haslemere. This is probably going to be the switchover point, and then we come back to Guildford Platform 3, which is where we currently are. So it's like about a 40 minute run. Inside the cab, there's not a lot of uh, stuff to click in this thing, unfortunately. Most of the buttons are disabled. Um, so yeah, there's not a lot to set up. The thing comes pre-set up. Let's put that back on so we can see what's going on here. As you can see, it's um, it's model fairly basic, unfortunately. But given the scenario is a tight timing and it's career mode, uh, I think you know we should have plenty of fun on our hands as it stands. Just wait for the doors to close. Okay, we'll just leave the brakes on. We're under a red light still at the moment. I don't know how long for. Uh, let's have a look at the vehicle a little bit. Let's go to the back. So we're running eight carriages. Can't actually tell. There's no internal camera. I can't look inside and see what the passengers are doing, unfortunately. Yep. Eight carriages. So two four cars. Is what we've got. And, uh, oh, it looks like there's something coming in. Ah. Four car coming in. One click shopping. Shop online. 20% discount on car insurance. Oh, hang on. I always think those car insurance things are a bit like, a little bit like the, um, the DFS sales, where they talk about, you know, sale must end Tuesday. Like, there always seems to be a discount. There always seems to be a sale on. It's just an absolute load of rubbish, isn't it? It's what it is. Wait a sec, we're on the wrong side. Uh, okay. Let me get down to 15, because I've got a feeling we're about to change over here. We're on the wrong side of the track. Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Good call. Um... Yeah, it always feels like they've always got sales on at sofa dealers, and it always feels like there's discounts on at insurance markets. And whenever you go online and look, it's not a discount at all. It's complete nonsense. Like, the only thing I've ever had a discount on is when they give me a code. Like, oh, if you take your insurance out like you did last year, then uh, here's a code as a welcome back present. Which is fine, I've done it. And then all of a sudden, when you come up for your anniversary renewal, the price is hiked up massively. Which is why I normally end up leaving anyway. I digress. 60 k's. Uh, 60 miles an hour, not 60 k's. We are in England, after all. Alright, given that we've got tight timings, I'm just going to be very aggressive on the speed here. 9.31 is when we're meant to be there. ETA is already behind. Rip? What? Is that because I was a bit late leaving the platform? I wasn't paying attention to the lights. Okay. Let's try and catch up the time. Yeah, 9.31.10, it's coming down. Looks like there's a little bit of slack in the timings. But let's keep it aggressively closer to 60 as we can, and then as soon as we can go to 70 and 85, let's punch it chewy and get out of here. It's a very um, icy day at the moment outside. There's 70. Let's pick it up. So it's, the visibility is not exactly um, not exactly great, is it? It's nice, but it's not exactly <laughs> sunny. There's a 70 over the 85 threshold. Just wait for the back to come through. There we go. So there you go. That's what it looks like. Runs off a third rail that you can see down there. So it's not got any overhead line, just runs off a third rail. Right, we've got a 70 mile an hour limit coming up. So I think I'll just 
slack off on the power. Still not clawing any time back, so we're going to arrive 11 seconds late on where we should be. Which, on scenarios like this where the timings are really tight together, you've got to be uh, you've got to be so careful. You can easily lose time near the start and you just cannot claw it back. Right, let's get down to 70. I don't know what braking we need. I remember these things, the, these um, electric units, they're, um, they're, very, they're really good at deceleration apart from the last the last kind of 10-20 um, miles an hour. Uh, they, they have really poor braking. So you tend to find yourself rolling seemingly forever. So I need to be careful of that, if it behaves that way. Guildford housing. Um, right, we're on the speed limit there. I think I should probably have blown my whistle over there. If I'd have been paying attention, there's probably a whistle sign. <laughs> it's funny, Train Sim. You look at it now and it's like the graphics are so dated, aren't they? You see things like Train Sim World. Okay, point 0.7. Let's start getting the braking on now. Yep, looks like there's a yellow signal, or possibly a red signal at the end of the platform. Half a mile, we're doing 60. I have no visibility on the platform yet. Okay, let's get some braking on. Otherwise we're going to fly past this thing if we're not careful. Yeah, the speed is not exactly hammering down right now. Yeah, there it is. We're still doing 40. Let's get the brake on a bit more. I want to be doing, like, less than 30 at this point, I think. Okay, ease off on the brake in. How long is this thing? Of course, a real driver doesn't get to do that, does he? Let me just fly overhead and have a look at the back of my train <laughs> to see if I've passed through. He would look at the signs here. Hey! See, look at this. Look how long it's taken to get down to speed here. Right, what do we make it? 9.31.19, so we lost a bit of time. Uh, arriving, depart, 9.31. Rip, come on. There's no slack in that whatsoever. Guy. It reminds me of the um the puppets, the little plasticine uh puppets they used to have. When you make a plasticine man, he kinda looks and stands like one. Okay, doors are closing, let's start releasing the brake pressure. Come on, doors, come on. See we're already late. Dang it. This is unfolding rapidly. It's a nice setting though. The good thing about these kind of misty um, the days is you get better frame rates. Because <laughs> it doesn't have as much to draw on the distance. So I've got a really nice frame rate right now. Alright, we've got on the line 8C. And then we've got to stop at Milford pretty sharp. Our ETA is just about on par of where it should be. So that's pretty good. We're just going to punch it as far as we can. Alright, I reckon we can start breaking... Let's back off on the throttle. About 0.6 of a mile, maybe, and get away with it. Let's see. That's 0.7. If I've got this wrong, though, that seems a bit aggressive. Let's let's bring it back to 40% braking. I don't know if there's any other curved balls that's going to throw at us on route. Like if it's going to throw any um, strange events, I can see the platform is still doing 50. 
Okay, try and get down to 30 for the start of the platform. Or whether it's just going to be a tight schedule and that's it. Uh, come on, break, 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 break. I've overshot this. <laughs> I've overshot this badly. Oh my god. Look at the speed. It will not come down. It just will not come down. Look at that. It's terrible. It's still going. And it's still going. <laughs> I don't know if this is going to count or not. I mean, we're... This is your driver speaking. Could all passengers please go back to carriage three, possibly even carriage four? Um, all I can say is we've got feta cheese for brakes. That is really bad. What, one, two, third carriage? <laughs> I go through a level crossing. There's a, there's a village nearby that I go through a level crossing every now and again. It's just like this. And uh, it's a busy line. It comes out of London. You find yourself getting stopped frequently at rush hour. Uh, I've never seen a driver do that. I've never seen a driver completely straddle the, uh, the bridge. They always manage to stop it on time. But it ticked the box. That's what really counts. Go via Hellsmere Approach and then pick up passengers. That's in 6.6 .6 miles. Okay. So we're just going to maintain top speed and keep our eye out for any uh, any strange signals on the way. It's actually probably not quite nicely now. Look at that. Nice and sunny. It's a lot better. Ooh, uphill. Nice. Hey, that's quite nice. Look at that. I'm frightened to jump outside for too long just in case something crazy happens in the cab. Like an AWS, AWS warning. This route looks like it's quite a bit prettier than I thought it would be. Yeah, it's going to plateau out and then go down a hill. Look at this. Look at the gradient. Coming up on 85, so we'll just back off the throttle. Stick our head out the window that way. What is that? Okay, I'm just going to neutralise the throttle now because we're about to go down a little... It's a strange underlying thing. Look, we go down and then go back up again. That station isn't even on my um, display down here. Four miles to Hasselmere Approach. Let's get going. The problem is right now is I don't know what my ETA is on the uh, stop we're going to. I have to be there at 9.41 though. Unless that's my ETA. In which case we're slightly early. Okay, back up. Bring in the juice. Ooh, missed that. Nice, I like that. Bring the power back. 2.5 miles. Yeah, as a driver, this is actually quite an enjoyable journey. It's very, um, very rural. It's a lot more rural than I thought it would be. That's Guildford. Guildford's down in Surrey. Uh oh, speeding. No! I overcooked it up the hill. 
Dang it. Of all the places to lose points. Do you know what, though? When we turn around and come back, we're going to have the opposite problem. Trying to keep the speed down. So it looks like this journey basically goes um, all the way up to a peak point and then turns around and comes back. I've got a flashing amber down here. Speed change coming up. Presumably that's the 30 miles an hour. Let's start some gentle braking and keep our eye out to make sure there's nothing going on on the track. Yeah, it says go via Haslemere Approach and then into Haslemere Platform 2. And Haslemere Approach is right in front of the, the platform. I'm just going to let it bleed speed off up the hill here. ETA 9.40. I think we're more or less on time. see lights up ahead. Looks like a, a track change over. Let's get our speed down now. So presumably we're going to... Fast service coming in north will pass us and as exchange passengers you will be cleared to depart for the return trip. Okay. So where does it want me to actually stop? I presume we're going to go to here. Is it going to swing us? No, it's not. It must be pushing us here. The high speed is presumably going to come down that line. I found that message a little bit confusing because I would have thought that um, it would leave us on platform one and let the high speed come through too, but maybe the high speed's coming down that three? That's three or one, I don't know. Just saw the AWS come on. Presume, yeah, the, no, hang on, that's another local one. I don't know, this is weird. Very weird. That's about as far as we need to go. Let's hold it up there. Yeah, but there's a local here. And we're the local, so... What's that line for? I guess we'll just have to sit it out and wait. Not really sure, to be honest. Hey. Um, rip, dude. That guy just... left with his doors... wide open. <laughs> so wait a minute, this says... pick up passengers at Whitley 1.
It's not told me to change ends, but I kind of feel like we should be changing ends at this point. I'm going to switch it around here. Okay. I mean, Whitley 1 is back there, so that's fine. We're supposed to depart from here at 9.43. Aslamir 2. But we haven't had a signal to go. We've just got yellow now. So I'm just going to go because I'm allowed to. But the timing on that's wrong because it says depart Aslamir 9.43 and it's already 9.44. Get a bit of careful the speed here. I think we should be good, actually. We're well, only under a single yellow, though, so we just need to be careful there's not another red around the corner. I presume the high speed has gone through, but we didn't see it. I don't know. This is it's slightly confusing. I'm going to wait until I can see the next signal. I can't punch it until I know exactly what this is doing. Because if we have to stop on these cheese breaks on this slope, it's going to be fun. Okay, there he is. Single yellow. Alright. We're good to go into the next block anyway. Yeah, it wasn't... Um, I've seen scenarios that kind of operate a little bit better there. They kind of say... I mean, he just went... This is as far as we go, blah blah blah, high speed. As you're like in the middle of slowing down to change track. There's a lot going on. And it didn't really spell out the fact that you need to change ends. It just went, this is as far as we'll go. So it was kind of implied. Alright, signal. That's good. Let's pick up the speed. ETA 950, needs to be the 950, so we're um, more or less on track. like the pun. It's a nice day for it anyway. I'm just going to leave the throttle on neutral because we're already picking up speed anyway. 2.4 miles, okay. I think we got this so far. We've lost a few points on the speeding, but at the moment we're still on track for a gold. Barring any major screw-ups on my part, let's start to um, apply a little bit of brake. Just to hold it. Wow, downhill into a station <laughs> with cheese brakes. It's going to be good. 1.3 miles. It'd be really good as if, if it, if you had like onboard systems that would give you a projection of your speed. Like this is where you'll be at current speed. So you could see a marker here. The marker would be here. Current current deceleration will stop you there. And I can start breaking more until it comes back. Kind of mathematical calculation. Similar to what you get on an aircraft, on a modern aircraft. Where they show you kind of descent profile and um, where you'll end up. Okay. Need to focus for a second. Third of a mile, 60 miles an hour.
bit more braking in there. Okay, we got it. We're down to 30, roughly where we plan to be. Seems like a pretty long platform as well. Interestingly, this platform doesn't have lights at the end of it. Nice, quite happy with that. And we're pretty much on time as well. Yeah, the weather is definitely getting better to what it was like at the start of this um, scenario. It was quite misty, now it's gone kind of blue sky. I like that, I like the dynamic weather change. Time we're departing, 9.51. Okay. We've got a couple of minute wait here. Actually, one and a half minute wait. Hey! Hello. Wow, her jaw is like David Coulthard, the racer. Did you see that? Can't actually step inside, but... I can try. <laughs> I'd love to pop in and say hi, but it won't let me. One minute wait. Seems like forever. So after this, we've got a pick up here, and then we've got to go down to Godalming Platform 1, which is only about, what, five minutes? Then to Farncombe Platform 1, which is only a couple of minutes. And then final stop down there is another well, six or seven minutes. Nice little run, nice little commuter run. I wonder how many times they have to do this. Like, do they do it maybe twice and then take a break? I can imagine it getting a little bit boring after a while, though. After you've learned the route, you know? Departed bang on time, like a pro? Nice smooth acceleration, that's what you want. I wish this game would give you a um, passenger feedback on, on how well you drove. And I wish, like, the freight stuff had delicate cargo as well that you could take. Just kind of fun things to, um... You know, little challenges to sort of set for yourself on... Passenger comfort. G-forces experience. Just to make it a little bit more fun. Okay, we need to level out at about 80. Not bad um, livery, to be honest. Oh, steady on, steady on, steady on. Almost lost a few more points. to shave a little bit more off. Oh, there's the lake again, or the reservoir, whatever it is. Nice. I tell you what, that's a nice place to live, isn't it? Right next to these little, uh, this little water. They've got a massive garden as well, blimey. to bleed off some more speed now. Hmm. I have a single yellow coming up, which implies there could be a red just before Godalming. 
Come on, speed. Still on single when we went through it. Let's get ready to stop. I wonder if this scenario takes all this into account, you know? Like with the scenario timings, does it actually take into account that you had to um, prepare to stop at various signals on the way? Come on, where are you? I'm trying to get a visual on the signal to see whether it's uh, yellow or red. Where is it? It's a yellow, I can see it. So over there. These trees don't help. Like, the only time you get a visual is when you get here on the bridge, and then it's pretty much too late. Like, if you had to stop now, good luck with that. See, we're, all, we're a little bit behind schedule. I don't, I don't think it does take that into account, you know. Breaking. You can see the platform edge. Looking good so far. It's a good one. Nicely in the middle of the platform. Let's open the doors. There's hardly anybody getting off here. Okay, so what's on the plan? Leave at 9.56. It's almost 9.56. Then we've got one more stop, and then destination. So far, so good. There's usually a light that comes on that tells you when the doors have been fully engaged, or you get like a or something. You get like a audible or visual clue as to the fact that the doors have been locked and you can proceed. But we don't seem to get any of that. I think the systems modeling this train is pretty basic, to be honest. Actually, this is a really quick run to this station. Look at this. Oh, that's a nice view. Look at that. It's beautiful. Pretty much accelerate to the halfway mark and then decelerate into the platform, that's the plan. Is that the platform there? Should be. I think I may have overdone it here and not break quickly enough. I think we might overshoot this. I wasn't at 30 at the start of the platform like I wanted to be. This is going to be really close, but I, don't, I think we're going to overrun. Not by much, but... It's looking like an overrun. Yep, I thought so. Yeah, there was just... I, I was a little bit... Um, I didn't get the speed down just to the point where I wanted it to be at the beginning of the platform, so... My mistake. But it's fine. Okay. Depart 958. 
and then arrive into Guildford about six minutes later. Use the brakes. I've not had a wheel slip either on this. I don't know if it's it's um, built into the locomotive or not, or whether it's just not modelled correctly, but I've tried accelerating aggressively from a standing start and never really got it to slip, so I'm just not sure if it's modelled. Or maybe, like I say, it's just got some anti-slip built in when you accelerate. It is a reasonably modern locomotive, so maybe it does. Anybody know Class 450? I'm sure somebody does. Ah, now, we've got the tunnel at the end of this. Um, although we shouldn't have a lane change, I reckon, because we had a lane change at the beginning. So maybe we'll be okay. Accelerating. So far, so good. Whoa, 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 whoa. Just as I said that, it popped back into the carriage to hear the sound of an AWS kicking off. <laughs> that was close, not gonna lie. Yeah, we've got a whole series of speed limit changes going on now. Starting out with the 75. Although it's green, so we should be clear all the way down to that 25. Warning for a 25 there. And AWS. No. Ah, oh, it's a W. There we go. Yeah, I'll just keep decelerating down. We're going to need to be at 25 at the end of this tunnel. Actually, that's way too aggressive. Time would you in? Arrive 10.04, ETA is 10.03, so we're good. Plenty of time. Speed down now. not speeding dude come on it's not even hit the 25 mark yet scumbag now I disagree with that I the 25 marker was here but on the track it was at the end of the tunnel it's one of those classic train sim things where the information it shows you down here is not actually correct all right see if we can get this thing stopped under the cheese brakes Nice. I think we've done it, peeps. Should be a gold. Lost about 50 odd points, I think, in total. There she is, David Coulthard. Look. <laughs> not really seen anybody get on and off this train. Again, I think it's something that's not been modelled properly. Ooh. Doing. Let's wait until 10.05. I'm 
just have a look around. The modelling here is pretty good though, look at that. There's a lot of scenery here, crikey. So much object placement. detail. Nice. Journey complete, it's a cold day, but you can now take a well-end break with a hot cup of coffee. Can I have a cup of tea instead, mate? I'm British. 754 XP earned. What? I only got silver? Timeliness lost 14 points here. Wait, what? 100, 2, 3, 4, 5, 600. Right. And then I lost 30 points there. And a bit here. So I lost about 40 odd points. That was enough to drop me into a silver. What a scumbag. Man, that should have been a gold. Oh well, I'll take it. That was halfway Haslamir career, class 450. Um, bit of a basic train, but quite an enjoyable scenario and quite nice scenery. That's it for this episode of Train Sim. Until next time, guys, take care. Happy training.